I've been following practice for a couple of years on the internet and was kind of waiting for a residency that seemed like it could fit me, which is kind of ironic because I ended up being the odd duck in my residency, even though I really did feel like it fit. Um, the residency I was a part of was the 12th residency called Taking Hold the Double Bridge, and it was about power struggles and how they manifest themselves in physical situations. So I actually came into the residency not expecting to make anything, just because I wanted to be realistic and give myself the opportunity not to overwork myself. Because I, I have a job, I'm like eight months pregnant, like there's so many things where I was just like, I just need to take it easy and get the most out of it I can. But I think one of the most surprising and nice things about Praxis is that when you're surrounded by people creating all the time, you kind of get inspired to create too. It's just this natural thing that occurs. One of the nicest things about Praxis and working with the other artists there is that uh, even though you have one artist who's obviously um, leading the residency and kind of creating this program for you, it was a very flat, even structure. There was no hierarchy between if someone had an opinion or a comment, everything was treated in the same manner, which was very nice. It was a very like dynamic and democratic group. It was very interesting how different artists comes from different points of view and different approach towards the physical expression and for performance. But at the same time, we kind of have a common interface or common fields that to converse to come to have a conversation about and how from different approach we go through the same topics. For for me it was very I can say pedagogical space. I have learned a lot of things and I'll also really benefits from different people's experience. I think one of the nicest things actually is the generosity of Nicholas and Charlotte because uh, Nicholas was actually part of this intensive weekend we were at where everyone was running around and dancing and just exhausting themselves and it was so nice seeing someone it was easy to get outside of one's comfort zone when you see other people doing the same, if that makes sense. So they were really all in and it, it made just for such a welcoming and generous uh, environment. So I, I guess it's always very nice for the artists if they can find different, these different approaches towards their own project. And if, if especially if they can find um, these, like a critical moment that they can talk and discuss about their own um, process because when you're inside the process it's always good to see how is it look like from outside how people see your work one of the residents called Sam he said this really great thing uh, it happens when you meet new people they are always recommending to them books to read or movies to watch or you know things that they should really know about based on their artwork and uh, he told me that a long time ago so uh, Phoebe, the, the one who was leading the residency, had surprisingly not seen a number of films that me and Sam had seen. And instead of saying something like, oh, I can't believe you haven't seen that, he would always say, I'm so happy for you because you have such a good experience coming. And that just for me encapsulated the, the energy of that residency. Especially my experience from Praxis, it was like very amazing group, very amazing, dynamic, a lot of open up in my approach, in my thinking, in my, in my own ex studies, I can say, because it was so relevant and I just really, yeah, I really recommend that if you find something that could be related to your, your work and if you see that like it's leads but a very interesting artist that you can feel close to it, 